Well, last week I ended up going to Dinosaur, Utah. All last week. It was a really awesome trip. We ended up leaving on the 13th around 9 in the morning. I, of course, ended up forgetting not only my tent, uh, but a sleeping pad. But it ended up working all right. We found both of the warehouse later on. I traveled with the mentors and leaders of the crew for RCC1 and RCC2. Good people all around. On the way to Dinosaur, I took several pictures, talked with John Hartsoe about music, and of course, had some cake, which I solely ate with a knife. Later, when we arrived in Dinosaur, you could immediately tell the importance of the town's name. Apparently, they found several fossils in the area, of course being dinosaurs. However, it's not the name that really got me excited for the work. It was the terrain, everywhere you could see, sage bushes, uh, desert, and god-sized mountains. It looked like something you'd see in a movie. In the depth of the mountains, one is hardly able to visualize from my pictures alone. We ended up camping in an area right around the Utah-Colorado border, a very cool place. And right behind some bushes was our own private beachfront on the river. Incredibly awesome that week seeing as how we worked in 92 degree heat. Immediately, when we set up camp, John noticed that there was a brown recluse spider in his tent, which caused me for the rest of the week to be rather anal when it came to zipping up my tent. While out in the field, myself and the leaders and mentors worked on a number of different things. We built and maintained throughout the week about five miles of barbed wire fence and acted as cowboys and cowgirls getting cows back into the fence. <laughs> Go ahead, Pete, get him! The first day, Pete Jensen and myself thought it would be a great idea to work 15 hours to get rid of many hours as we could, so we could leave early. And that didn't really fly with the rest of the crew, but we did end up working 10 hours a day and were able to take Friday off. On Thursday, our last day of work, we all traveled to an area of Utah few got to see. We didn't realize this, but we were actually working not in a desert, but the tallest point of a plateau. We could literally see for about 30 miles in all directions. It brought several of our crew members to tears, it was so beautiful. It's something I'll never forget. At the end of the week, we were all looking forward to getting out of the sun, but it definitely was an eye-opening experience for me. Working on that fence was really hard work, and getting to know the mentors and leaders better was fantastic. Pete and I had some really good philosophical conversations. We all hung around the campfire at night and sang songs while John or Pete played the guitar, and we all made a makeshift dance party towards the end of the week celebrating our accomplishments. We ate great food like ricotta stuffed shells with marinara sauce, or gumbo with rice and beans, and everyone shared their experiences from their past crews. Altogether, even though it was really hard work, I'd do it again. Probably for free if I wasn't so poor. Anyway, I hope you liked the story. I'll be updating the group as often as I can with more pictures, movies, and my experiences from the field. Thanks for watching. Mecca! Mecca! Tell me you please got that on video. I got the whole thing. <laughs>